The bridge collapse in Baltimore had us here at CBS News Philadelphia wondering about our own bridges. What safety measures are in place and in case something like this were to happen here? Chief investigative reporter Joe Holden took a number of those questions to the Delaware River Port Authority. Day in, day out, these large ships and the bridges coexist alongside each other. And 20 years ago, the Delaware River Port Authority determined more could be done to protect the bridge itself. Only hours after the bridge disaster in Baltimore, CBS News Philadelphia headed to the banks of the Delaware. News photographer Ed Spey and I started in the area under the Commodore Barry Bridge in Chester. It didn't take long for a large ship to pass beneath the bridge. The river's a busy place. Also working on the story with us, our crew high up in Chopper 3, assessing traffic on the river as well as the four major bridges managed by the Port Authority. For years, the piers of the Commodore Barry lacked these rock islands. But in 2005, a study put officials on notice. So rock islands were built, which officials say would cause a massive ship to run aground before it would strike one of the main piers. More protective measures were implemented at other bridges. We talked with those in charge first thing this morning. We have studied a ship of similar size in our threat assessment. At the Betsy Ross, we've got uh, concrete dolphins in place that protect and um, would prevent a ship from getting to, again, the concrete piers that we, that, um, the bridges sit on. The folks at the DRPA say part of their job is to imagine unfortunate incidents that could undermine the safety of these superstructures. There's also regularly scheduled inspections. We inspect the bridges every two years with professional engineering firms uh, on each of those facilities. And then every four years, we do an underwater inspection of the foundations themselves, and in the case of the Commodore Barry and the Betsy Ross, those ancillary structures. The towers of the prominent Ben Franklin and Walt Whitman bridges are far less vulnerable because officials say those in the river are in water too shallow for large ships. We think, we plan, we imagine, and then we implement plans to protect uh, to protect our system. Perhaps you've noticed the pier closest to the land has no rock island around it. That's because officials tell us it is so shallow there. A boat the size the one you saw in Baltimore could never even reach it. It would run aground. Along the Delaware River in Chester, Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia.